Oh yeah, that looks good. Hey, this is how to be prepared for your next music video. Hey y'all, so I just finished a music video, right? Local artist here named Leroy the Innovator. He's actually right here in Las Vegas, y'all. He asked me to be alongside with him in the video uh, since we did the track. And, you know, I was thinking this would be a good opportunity to show you guys, music artists out there, independent artists out there on the grind, how to be prepared for doing a visual like this. Um, because it's not just, you know, just some kind of amateur video where you're just, you know, just doing your thing starting out. You really want to put your foot into it if you really want your music to do well. And so I was really impressed with the whole process, the whole team effort from Leroy the Innovator to 33 uh, Media, 33 Media, right here in Las Vegas, uh, who did the video. And uh, just the whole process was really smooth, and I thought it was very professional. So I'm here today to show you, and Leroy's also here in this video, to show you the different tips and tricks, secrets, on how to be prepared for a music video. Innovate, innovate, innovate. What's going on? It's Shmaley, the innovator coming to you live and direct. Coming at the home base, big challenge. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what it takes to be prepared for a music video. Um, I've been in the industry for a little bit over 15 years now, so I don't really need to practice too much. But for someone who's new and maybe looking to start their music journey, there's a couple of tips that I could share with you. So the first one is just to know your song. You know, um, Don't go into the videographer's location and not have your lyrics down to the point where you can just hit them without thinking, you know, otherwise you're going to make it harder for the editor to put your stuff together. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be an inconvenience to them. Number two, make sure your background is solid. Make sure you are thinking about the background that will portray the subject of your song. Background, important. See, microphone, piano, background, music. Number three, think about your attire. I know you probably see my finger all crooked and stuff. That's from playing basketball. Don't ask me. Number three, think about your attire. Think about warm versus cold. Warm colors are reds, yellows, oranges. Cold colors are, are greens, blues, purples. Think about the contrast between your attire and your background. Also think about casual versus luxury, uh, not luxury, formal. Casual versus formal. I would say do your homework on who you want your shooter to be. Uh, there's plenty of ways to source shooters, uh, whether it be social media, through other friends, uh, or through YouTube. There's so many ways to do it. So make sure you see the work that you can picture yourself in. What do you want to think about when you're actually choosing a filmmaker? Well, I have five, six things here that's going to tell you what to think about when choosing your filmmaker. All right. We're talking about looking at their previous work. That's number one. Always look at their previous work. Make sure you like what you're seeing because nine times out of ten, they can't do better than what you're seeing. Number two, make sure you get a timeline and the ETA, right? Estimated time of arrival, ETA. You need to know how long it's going to take them to make the music video and finish it after they've recorded it because you don't want to be sitting around waiting for a year for them to finish your work, okay? Also, you want to look for someone who pays attention to detail. It's super important. All the little minor details make up the amazing whole. You also want to look for the filmmaker that's always worried about lighting and coloring. Like, what the hell? But I don't need to know about that. I just need to know how to make, make a dope song. Well, they need to know how to make dope lighting, right? And shadowing and, and just colors and all that stuff. Look for someone who really pays attention to that. Also look for a filmmaker that pays attention to, to environment and setting and location. Uh, if someone is always talking about, they they get really excited about the location or the angle of the shot. Anything that anybody that's excited about their work and the little technical stuff that may be boring to us and stuff we don't understand, but they're excited about it. Yeah, you want those. Those are called geeks. And last but not least, you want to make sure your filmmaker gets multiple shots in multiple locations. Um, and lastly, be yourself. Don't front. Love y'all.